Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada. I saw a job interview recently that some of you may be interested in. A Canadian company has been advertising what many people would think is the perfect job. Now, the company is called Candy Funhouse, and they make candies, or, or sweets, as we would call them on this side of the Atlantic. Well, at least in Ireland and Britain, we'd call them sweets. In French, they call them le bonbon. And uh, in Italian, it's la caramella. But uh, we call them sweets and the Canadians call them candy. Well, they want to employ, Candy Funhouse want to employ a chief candy officer. And apparently the job is you've got to taste different kinds of sweets. Imagine that. Imagine getting paid for eating sweets. Now, the successful candidate will receive extensive palate training. Whatever that is, I guess it's a, training you to be able to tell the difference between a good sweet and a bad sweet. And also, they, 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 by the way, they have a medical plan, which apparently has a very good dental plan, which probably is just as well if they're going to be eating a lot of sweets. And the salary is a hundred thousand Canadian dollars a year. Oh, that's 77,000 euro. Now, just imagine that. Imagine getting paid 77,000 euro a year for eating sweets. I, I think some of you are already saying, where, where, where's the pen? Sign me up. I want to put my application in. But maybe not, because the winning candidate will be expected to eat at least 113 sweets every day. I don't know about you, but uh, the amount of calories that would be contained in 113 sweets every day would be absolutely astronomical. And uh, I know that there's no way this body of mine would ever tolerate that whatsoever. And I suspect that might be true for many people uh, watching or listening to this Take 5 as well. So maybe it's not such an ideal job. Maybe it's not the perfect job after all. I do believe that uh, many of us are looking for the perfect job. You know, people often choose their, uh, their, their career choices, uh, their, their subject choices when they're at school and when they're at college based on the job that they want to work at. I've known people who have started training and studying for a job because it's what their parents wanted, not what they wanted. And then as they learned that that's probably not a good way uh, to, to prosper and do well in life, they began to look at other ways and to change their courses. And sometimes people change careers and go into a completely different kind of career because they find that the job that they thought they wanted is not the perfect job at all. Well, I don't know if God wants every one of us to have the perfect job. Uh, I actually think I do. You know, I get to tell people about Jesus. I get to travel to different parts of the world to do that. And I get paid for doing it. And for me, that's, I can't think of a job that would be better than that. But other people, it might not be the perfect job for them. But I do believe this, that God wants work to be a blessing. God does want us to work. The Bible says if, if we will not work, then we shouldn't eat, you know. So we're supposed to work. We're supposed to provide for ourselves, provide for our loved ones. But God does not want work to be a curse. Work is intended to be a blessing. Now, work became a curse after the fall, after Adam and Eve. We know that uh, then work became a curse and, and Adam had to earn his food by the sweat of his brow. The ground was cursed because of his sin. But Jesus came to set us free from the curse. And today, as Christians, we are redeemed from the curse. And that means working for a living should not be a curse. We should not, as Christians, be in a job that we hate and that we just uh, hate dread Monday morning coming when we go back to work and can't wait till Friday to get a couple of days off. That's not God's plan for our life. God wants us to be able to work at something and work at something we will enjoy and be blessed by and find fulfillment and satisfaction in, in, in the name of the Lord. And I do believe that every one of us is able to find that and that the Holy Spirit will help us to find the right job. No, it might not be getting paid 77,000 euro to eat 113 sweeties every day. But I do believe God has a job for each one of us that is a, God, is a job that will bless us and that we will find fulfillment in. I pray that you're already discovering that for yourself. And if you're not, I pray that you will in Jesus' name. And join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drahada.